Hello ladies and gentlemen, here are some nice new announcements for physical games on Switch, PlayStation and, uh, oh no, Xbox. Corpse Party 2 Darkness Distortion is getting released this autumn time on Switch in Europe and Switch and PS4 in North America. I have to admit I've always found this franchise a little bit confusing. I never know what's a new game, what's a remake or whatever, but apparently this will be the third game that's on the Switch. There's a remake of the first game and Blood Drive, which uh, I have heard isn't very good. Neither of those are physical, so it's nice to see this one going to make the step up. There is a standard edition as well as a collector's edition, which can be pre-ordered right now. And if you want to pre-order any of the games in this video, then please consider using the links below. That massively helps support me. VGP is a great company with good prices and favorable Canadian bookage with cheap shipping to the US and even free shipping worldwide if you spend over 80 Canadian dollars. Due to the recent announcements of these games and, you know, the Good Friday holiday and stuff, most of the games in this video are not available for order right now, but I would appreciate it if you do use the links below when they are ready. Thanks a lot, okay? Cheers! Gordian Quest is Premium Edition Games' the latest announcement. You may have seen I made a video about this yesterday. It's available for pre-order right now on their website, premiumeditiongames.com and comes in both the standard edition and a lovely retro edition both of which are super lovely they really do put a whole lot of love into making the best product they can nice quality packaging with goodies for a really nice game if you like deck building rpgs definitely get on this there is a month pre-order window and you can get a nice pre-order dog tag if you pre-order it that's a great way to support the company which you know, is run by fans not businessmen okay those are the kind of people you do want to support the Bridge Curse 2, The Extrication, is a surprising announcement. This is being published by P-Cube at retail, whereas you may remember the original is a PlayAsia exclusive. That game I actually quite liked a lot. Usually these lower budget first person horror games are a bit too cheap to be scary, but it was genuinely interesting. So I'm definitely interested in seeing this game as well when it releases later this year on the Switch and PS5. I haven't actually seen an ESRB version as of yet, but I would be surprised if it was only Europe. P-Cube don't do that often. Ty the Tasmanian Tiger Bush Rescue Bundle is the latest Ty release and it's much better than the previous ones on the Switch because this contains Ty the Tasmanian Tiger HD which already has a physical release but it also includes Ty 2 which was only available as a download code and it has Ty 4 which hasn't had any kind of release. Apparently all of these will be on the cartridge, no download bullshit, no code nonsense, just cold, hard, complete cartridges. It also has a standard and collector's edition which comes with a large art book that will be limited and numbered once pre-orders open. My only question is, what was so bad about Ty 3 that they've tried to forget it ever existed? Answers on a postcard please. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition is getting a physical release on both Switch and PS5, a very famous game, a very meta sort of walking simulator, I don't really know how else to categorize it, but it's an excellent game, and this is the best version of it, I can't believe it's taken this long for this game to get a physical release on consoles, but yeah, finally it's here. You can get a collector's edition via I Am 8 Bits website, you can pre-order that now, or you can wait for the retail version which is coming this July. Pool Party is releasing physically on the PS5 in May. This looks like a super cheap sports party game to play with friends. Although I'm not sure anyone on this planet can actually afford four PS5 controllers. That would bankrupt a small island nation. And I don't believe this has online play because it really is that cheap. There is going to be a Switch version, but that is a code in a box nonsense. I won't cry over this one, to be fair. There are also quite a few VR exclusive games coming out physically on the PS5. You need PSVR 2 in order to play them. Vertigo 2, Crossfire, Sierra Squad and Hubris all releasing physically in the next couple of months. Cards RPG The Misty Battlefield is a Japanese game I mentioned a few weeks back as one to keep an eye on for English and finally it has been announced to have English on the Switch and PS5 releasing in a couple of months in May. It's an RPG, it probably has cards and it looks pretty sweet giving me some Vanillaware vibes. So yeah look out for it, if you want to pre-order this from PlayAsia you can do so with the links below and get 5% off with my code JORDAN24. I also want to give a quick shout out to 
Atomic Owl. This is a Kickstarter campaign that's a few days in and past the halfway point of its goal. Why I'm mentioning this is because it's going to get a physical via Premium Edition Games on Switch and PS5 via this Kickstarter. The game itself is a synth wave infused roguelike platformer that pays homage to games like Mega Man X, Shovel Knight and Dead Cells, at least that's what they tell me. But I don't care about that, all I care about is that you're a ninja owl. That's good enough for me as a Sheffield Wednesday fan, check the Kickstarter with the links below. I also want to point out one thing that collectors may want to take notice of. Video Games Plus are doing another print of the Atelier Riser games on Switch. These often get sold out and are highly in demand. Well, now you can get one, two and three individually, or you can save a bit of cash by bundling them together. Of course, this reprint isn't as amazing as the last time when people were desperate for a cheap method to get them, but it's still welcome to get a brand new copy for a nice price. Grab them if you've missed them. Very underrated JRPGs, some of my favorite on the system. And there we have it, some nice physical announcements. Please use the links below if you want to pre-order any of them. I massively appreciate that. And please let me know if any of these are taking your fancy or if you're looking forward to them. Have a good day, guys.